we've seen a decline in about 3 billion birds. About 29% of birds in the U.S. and Canada have disappeared. It's a total net loss. And what was so striking was that these birds were not uh, typical birds that we expected to be declining. These were the common birds, the warblers, the sparrows, the thrushes, the swallows, the birds that we all sort of pledged to keep common. And the fact of the matter is now we're losing them right before our eyes. Scientists from the U.S. and Canada got together about a year and a half ago and did a very large comprehensive analysis of the population change in all the birds in the U.S. and Canada over about 50 years. We pulled together a lot of citizen science data, a lot of data collected by scientists that are looking at shorebirds, and we also pulled together a totally independent data set that was collected from uh, weather radars. When we're seeing these sorts of declines in birds, that typically means that it's not good for the environment. And we're also seeing similar declines in things like insects. We're seeing this in Europe. We're seeing this in the US. We're seeing this in frogs. We're seeing this in marine environments. We're seeing a total degradation, a decay in the quality of habitats that we as humans also depend on. So these birds are sort of the quintessential indicators of environmental health. And what we're seeing is not good for the birds and it's not good for us either. And we really need to wake up and start really repairing the damages we've done. We know that if nature's given a chance, it's resilient. It responds in positive ways. So what we need to do here is we need to start protecting habitats. We need to start keeping cats indoors. We start, need to start minimizing the threats. We need to protect our air. We need to protect our water. These are important resources that we depend on.